Okay. What about, uh, you, you mentioned NVIDIA and Apple as kind of the mainstay AI names. Would you still be adding to posi positions in those? So those are names that you need to be there for long term. You know, AI doesn't work without NVIDIA. So I kind of brush off when, oh, you know, NVIDIA is overvalued. NVIDIA is a name that you need to be in. And again, any dips in NVIDIA to me are a GIF. You know, Apple, I think of the Mag 7 is going to be the name that's, you know, got the most possible benefits because I just, you know, imagine AI integrated into what is a 1.4 billion iPhones, something like that. I, I think the ramifications of that are, are mind boggling. So th those are two names that I think you have to own. And any dip you get in those names, like I said, is a gift. NVIDIA is the corporation that has profited the most from the hoopla around artificial intelligence, AI. Over the last two years, the company's stock has increased by an astounding 900% due to demand for its graphics processing units, GPU, Compute Unified Device Architecture, CUDA, software, and data center services. In the sections that follow, I'll discuss the potential drivers of NVIDIA's stock price increase while also outlining some potential danger issues. Investors now have a better understanding of how many of the biggest companies in the technology sector intend to spend their money. The companies Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, Microsoft, and Meta platforms all agreed that further AI infrastructure was required. NVIDIA's computing and networking division will benefit from growing capital expenditures from large technology companies. More specifically, I believe large tech will be first in line for these new chips, and the company's Blackwell GPU release is set to be a huge barometer for NVIDIA. The demand for Blackwell, according to NVIDIA Chief Executive Officer Jensen Huang, is insane, and Chief Financial Officer Colette Kress stated that in Q4, we expect to get several billion dollars in Blackwell revenue. NVIDIA should benefit from Blackwell's output into the upcoming year, as well as more significant tech spending that is planned. Consequently, I wouldn't be shocked if NVIDIA's stock increased in 2025. The Blackwell line is a significant forthcoming product from NVIDIA that is anticipated to revolutionize the market and generate a significant amount of income. The supply system has improved, and orders for Blackwell products are rising. The business is increasing the manufacture of Blackwell GPUs, and CEO Jensen Huang has confirmed that shipments should start in the fourth quarter. The corporation is still planning to increase production as we go into the upcoming year, even though some technical difficulties might cause some releases to be delayed. The expansion of the data center powered by AI is anticipated to provide substantial growth for the corporation. CEO Jensen Huang projected that annual spending on data center infrastructure will be approximately $250 billion, with the possibility of spending between $1 trillion and $2 trillion over the next 10 years, at the GPU Technology Conference in March 2024. Analysts predict that NVIDIA will have a larger proportion of the data center industry than Apple, Amazon, Google, and AMD between 2025 and 2029 despite competition from these businesses and others. The business is anticipated to rule the market despite the competition. If you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market latest news, you can subscribe to our investing tutorial channel as we post daily updates about the biggest changes and catalyst in the market. So click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now back to today's video. So it's a bit of a mixed picture today when we uh, take a look at the, the MAG-7. NVIDIA is higher, the rest are lower, but we have been seeing this kind of broadening out of the market, um, some money coming out of uh, big tech and heading into other areas of the market. Do you look at that as the AI rally fading out or just taking a breather? I, I look at it as the exact opposite. I look at it as the AI rally broadening out. You know, when we look at a theme like AI, you've got to look at obviously first order thinking where, you know, that's NVIDIA, you know, maybe Apple. Second order is all the stuff AI needs to actually work. And you see where, you know, a lot of the, the money has been going is to really the AI power generation names, most like, you know, 
lately the nuclear names more than anything else. So I see that as more evidence that we're just in the first innings here when it comes to anything related to AI. So when it comes to this broadening out, uh, you talk about the power plays. Vistra is a name that we've been talking about quite a bit uh, lately on the show. It's been a huge beneficiary outperforming the the uh, outperforming us. Um, NVIDIA in terms of a year to date performance uh, constellation another name that's been a big winner but both are pretty close to highs so is there still room to run in those names or are there some other names that haven't necessarily been beneficiaries yet that will be so I, I think all of the names pretty much people got them and and, and they've been running uh, you know anything in utility land that's got any sort of relation to AI has been running. Uh, I do think there's more to go because I think AI is going to be such a, a demander of power that whatever we're thinking it's going to be, it's going to be more. Um, I would certainly prefer to buy these names on dips than, you know, to try the, to try to buy an AI name or, you know, a utility name that is is trading like, you know, an AI technology name. So long term, I think these are stocks you need to be in. Would I be buying right at this minute? Probably not, unless I got a debt. The artificial intelligence semiconductor ecosystem is characterized by a dynamic environment that is fueled by the increasing requirement for computational capacity to support the growth of artificial intelligence. According to Barclays analysts, the industry is at a turning point as demand for AI-powered solutions, especially large language models, continues to surpass the availability and functionality of current chips. The sell-off of AI chip names, like NVIDIA, following earnings announcements has sparked questions about whether the industry has reached its peak. But according to Barclays, the business will continue to develop in the future due to AI models' ever-increasing processing requirements. According to Barclays, there are major supply restrictions during the early phases of the AI semiconductor ecosystem scale-up. According to the forecasts, massive computational resources will be needed to train the next generation of LLMs, some of which have 50 trillion parameters. According to the brokerage's projections, around 20 million chips will be required just to train these algorithms by 2027. This highlights the sobering fact that despite advances in AI accelerator speed, the demand for AI computation is rising far faster than existing chip technology can meet. Looking at the training requirements for models like GPT-5, which is predicted to require a 46x increase in compute power compared to GPT-4, further highlights the disparity between AI compute demand and chip availability. However, it is anticipated that cutting-edge chips, such as NVIDIA's next-generation Blackwell, will only see a seven-fold increase in performance throughout this same time frame. The limited ability to produce chips exacerbates this problem. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, for example, is only expected to be able to produce 11.5 million Blackwell chips by 2025. Complicating matters is the anticipated need for inference chips. A significant percentage of the AI compute ecosystem is expected to be used for inference, the process by which AI models produce outputs after being trained. Barclays observes that given NVIDIA's assertion that a significant percentage of its chips are being used for inference, inference may account for as much as 40% of the market for AI processors. By 2027, it is possible that the total demand for chips in training and inference will surpass 30 million units. Barclays recommends a dual-track strategy for the AI accelerator market, where merchant and custom silicon solutions can prosper while the industry struggles with these issues. On the one hand, businesses such as NVIDIA and AMD are in a good position to provide CPUs for large-scale, cutting-edge AI model inference and training. However, it's likely that businesses that run large data centers or hyperscalers will keep creating custom silicon for increasingly specialized AI workloads. This split strategy will accommodate different use cases outside of the huge LLM domain and enable market flexibility. It is anticipated that inference will become more and more important as a potential source of income in addition to being a demand generator. Novel approaches to inference optimization, 
Such the reinforcement learning used in OpenAI's most recent O1 model portends significant advancements in AI capabilities. The return on investment for AI models might increase dramatically with more efficient resource allocation and economical inference techniques, which would encourage ongoing investment in training and inference infrastructure. The question is now is, is there more room to run for the shares? Let's get to Seema Modi this morning, talk about what the street is saying, as well as what Oracle said earlier in the week and some of the action in semis today, Seema. Yeah, Carl Jensen Wong's comments lifting NVIDIA's market cap by over $200 billion yesterday. That is the fourth largest single day increase for any company in history. That is certainly inviting street reaction this morning. Bernstein naming NVIDIA a top pick, writing that clients that uh, Blackwell delays seem to be mostly a nothing burger. Margin worries are overblown. Their price target is 155 a share. Morgan Stanley's equity strategy team, using fundamental and quantitative analysis, adding NVIDIA to its list of names to hold for the next 12 months. They say if you want exposure to AI, you can't not hold NVIDIA. They think Blackwell availability later this year should further cement its competitive position. The big question investors are now trying to answer is whether yesterday's move was indicative of a sustained rally. Mizuho is more cautious, writing that flows into tech yesterday were solid, but they did not suggest a wave of active buyers nor a rush to get long or semi names. They actually said there's some characteristics of a short squeeze. We are seeing NVIDIA shares up another 2%, guys. Additionally, NVIDIA recently unveiled NVLM 1.0, a new line of multimodal big language models that excels at text and vision language tasks alike. The business claims that after multimodal training, it outperforms top proprietary models like GPT-4.0 and open access models like Llama 3V 405B on text-only tasks. Megatron Core is providing the training code and model weights as open source resources. The model performs exceptionally well on a variety of multimodal tasks, including thinking, following directions, identifying comedy, and breaking down math problems step by step. In order to increase training efficiency and accuracy, it makes use of a hybrid architecture and a special 1D tile tagging design for high-resolution image assignments. LLM from the company is a fresh, significant rival in the market that META and Alphabet formerly controlled. Leader in artificial intelligence, AI. NVIDIA will begin hosting its 2024A Summit on October 7. Leaders in the field will be gathered for the event to see and hear from some of the brightest minds in artificial intelligence. It's an opportunity to see a glimpse of this possibly game-changing technology's future. Given the impending significance of the event, you may be wondering if it's time to buy NVIDIA stock. Maybe history can help us. Let's examine the business in more detail. Once upon a time, NVIDIA and Advanced Micro Devices, a long-standing adversary, were virtually tied for supremacy in the gaming industry. Overall, the two income statements of the organization were comparable. That has been modified. Following the tipping point in AI in late 2022, NVIDIA has overtaken AMD, outpacing AMD in overall sales and profit margin. Check out this chart to see just how significant the recent change has been. That is the result of holding 90% of a market with a value comparable to AI Silicon. It appears that NVIDIA's gravy train is not going to stop anytime soon, which is wonderful news for them. The message coming from the other major tech companies, which account for the majority of its business, is that they anticipate increasing their expenditure in the near future. Essentially, this is a race, and none of the major players can afford to fall behind. In the most recent earnings call, Alphabet's CEO, Sundar Pichai, stated, The risk of underinvesting is dramatically greater than the risk of overinvesting for us here. Not alone, Alphabet anticipates increasing its capital expenditures this year from $32 billion to over $50 billion. While AMD, Intel, and other companies are still finding it difficult to match the strength and efficiency of NVIDIA's chips, the majority of this spending is currently going through NVIDIA. The company's next generation is expected to ship in the coming months, but there is still a huge demand for its current model. NVIDIA has a lot of money to spend on keeping its competitive advantage because of the enormous profits it has made. In the latest quarter, NVIDIA spent almost twice as much on research and development as AMD, even though it was already ahead of the pack. 
NVIDIA is going to hold an AI event of this kind for the third year in a row. The corporation launched these events in 2022 with a virtual speech-based artificial intelligence event. The first year of a full-fledged, multi-day AI summit was scheduled for 2023. However, it was shifted to an online event for one day only. The event this year will be held in person across three days. Both of the earlier editions resulted in a good increase in NVIDIA's stock price, despite their more modest meeting arrangements. The week after the 2022 events saw a 10% increase in shares. I understand that may come as a letdown, but the reality is that we are unable to know for sure. First of all, two years is a pretty short sample size from which to draw definite conclusions. Also, correlation does not imply causation, even with more years to go by. A summit on artificial intelligence and a spike in stock prices, for example, are not always related to one another. However, the occasion offers a chance to reflect on AI's potential. Consider the company's long-term possibilities rather than potential short-term stock swings. Remember that the forest is still bigger than the trees. This is a leading company that is facilitating the adoption of a technology that has the potential to be revolutionary.